Hey there, welcome to the Money Mindset Mentor, the channel that helps you level up your finances and improve your mindset around money. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most important financial goals you can set for yourself, building an emergency fund. Now, you might be thinking, but hey, I'm on a tight budget. How am I supposed to save money for emergencies when I can barely pay my bills? Don't worry, my friends, because today we're going to show you how to build an emergency fund on a tight budget. First things first, let's talk about what an emergency fund actually is. An emergency fund is money set aside specifically for unexpected expenses. These could be things like a medical emergency, a car repair, or even a global pandemic. The point is, emergencies happen and having an emergency fund can be a lifesaver when they do. So, how do you build an emergency fund when you're on a tight budget? Well, it all starts with making a plan. Take a look at your income and expenses and figure out how much you can realistically set aside each month for your emergency fund. Even if it's just $5 or $10, that's a start. Next, you want to make sure that you're saving that money in a place where it's easily accessible, but not too accessible. You don't want to keep it in your checking account, where you might be tempted to spend it on something that isn't an emergency. Instead, consider opening a separate savings account specifically for your emergency fund. Now, let's talk about some ways to cut expenses and free up more money to contribute to your emergency fund. One option is to take a look at your subscriptions. Do you really need all of those streaming services, or could you cut back to just one or two? Maybe you could even cancel some altogether and use that money to build your emergency fund. Another option is to look for ways to save money on your regular expenses. For example, could you switch to a cheaper cell phone plan or negotiate a lower rate on your car insurance? Every little bit helps. If you're really struggling to find ways to cut expenses, consider finding ways to earn more money. This could be through a side hustle, freelance work, or even selling some of your unused items online. Remember, every little bit counts. Now, let's take a quick break to talk about pop culture. Have you ever seen the movie The Pursuit of Happiness? Starring Will Smith. If you haven't, go watch it. It's a great movie. But if you have, you might remember the scene where Will Smith's character is trying to sell these bone density scanners, but he's not having any luck. So, he decides to start parking cars to make some extra money. That's the kind of hustle we're talking about here. Folks, okay, back to the topic at hand. Once you have your emergency fund started, it's important to keep contributing to it regularly, even if it's just a small amount each month. And if you do have to dip into it for an emergency, make sure you replenish it as soon as you can. And finally, don't forget to celebrate your progress along the way. Building an emergency fund is no easy feat, especially when you're on a tight budget. But every dollar you save is a step closer to financial security and peace of mind. One last thing before we wrap up, I want to leave you with a funny reference to one of my favorite TV shows, Friends. Remember the episode where Joey was trying to save money and he came up with the brilliant idea of putting all his money in a large box? Well, don't be like Joey, guys. Keep your emergency fund in a safe and secure place. That's it for today's video. I hope you found these tips helpful and feel motivated to start building your emergency fund. Remember, every little bit counts, and even the smallest steps can lead to big results. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on personal finance and money mindset. And as always, leave a comment down below with your thoughts and questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.